Across the nation, we're seeing police officers doing what they can to ease the tension, offering gestures of reconciliation. After this remarkable moment outside a police station in Des Moines, the protesters walked away peacefully. We're seeing acts of courage from some protesters. In Louisville, these men linked arms to protect a police officer who got separated from his squad. Outnumbered and surrounded, you can see the concern on his face, but he's shielded until he can get to safety. This guy was breaking chunks out of a sidewalk in the nation's capital when protesters turned on him and handed him over to the cops. take a knee with the community to, 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 to garner and broke a piece, then I'll get on my knee every day. I have a son who's 31. I've got a son who's 15, all right? And I have to have these conversations with them all the time. So we're not telling y'all to leave. What was going on up here was wrong. That's why we brought it to a stop. The loudspeaker, the yakking and the yapping. We said pause. Let these people remain here. Let them stay in the street. Let them express their grievances because you have a right to be pissed off. Amen! Amen. This has been a peaceful protest all day thus far. We stand together. Thank you. I'm about breaking bread. I'm about peace and love. And if that's what the demonstrators want, I owe that to them as Americans. And then this. Without explanation, some officers took off their helmets, put down their batons, as protesters reached across an invisible divide, advancing to hug them and shake hands. The moment of shared peace continued with these two officers joining the protesters, walking and sharing words, and an arm around a shoulder. We'll continue marching peacefully, I promise you, all right? Have a good day, I love you. Let's go. Let's continue marching. All right? Feel fine, I feel fine, that's right. Because that's, that's the first moment that we get this together, that us and everything that these cops have given their blood for, and the communities that we serve and they all love can go back together and get those groups out of here from California, from all over this country who are being paid to take this movement, which is a good movement, and turn it into violence against the men and women who love the communities. Yeah. Get them out of here, throw them out of your protests, protest peacefully. Why would anyone break into a store in your neighborhood, places that employ the people in this neighborhood. No reason for it. It has to end. Let New York show the country how this is done. For the Brentwood Police Department, I've been in this city for 28 years. Okay? I appreciate you guys, your, your right to come in peaceful protest. You guys are awesome, man. I, we are hearing what you're saying. And we appreciate you and we love you. I know some of you don't think that. You think that the police are out here to hurt you. I can tell you I've been a police officer for 34 years. And I've helped a lot of people. I've never hurt anybody. Okay, I want you to know that don't paint us with a brush like that, okay? We, my police department loves you. They love you. We work hard to be safe and to keep you safe out here. And we appreciate you so much coming here and accepting us and doing it the right way. We appreciate it, we hear you, and we're gonna make some changes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
living now. Look how I'm living now. 